stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. Joining me right now is one of the best in the world. Flyweight, bantamweight, it doesn't matter. He's ready to fight anybody. Manel, it's good to get you back on the show. Thank you so much for the time. How are you living? Thank you so much, John. Uh, thank you for inviting me. I'm good, living living good here in the U.S. I'm doing my best for my debut. You've been in the U.S., you've been on the West Coast, Las Vegas, California. How is life different for you over there compared to, let's say, Phuket? No, of course, um, in the U.S., more, more expensive, no? And, you know, in Phuket, more cheap, and uh, we can do whatever we can and live like a king with uh, with uh, one one thousand bucks, you know. But but here uh, the um, is uh, is different. It's different, but um, but it's good, very very good, you know. It's very good. How has the the training been for you at AKA over there in San Jose? Have you been just working yeah. exclusively there, or do you work at other spots? No, no, no. Just uh, work exclusively in AKA. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. We have um, a lot of fighters, professionals, and we have um, so many fight- so many experienced fighters, and um, a, a, a big teammate. You know, big teammates. They they are like family. You know, or oh, everybody help everybody. Um, the, you know, is a is a good group. It's it's good that I'm I'm here in AKA, and it's good. If you talk about AKA, you know, you got Cain Velasquez, Luke Rockhold, you know, Daniel Cormier, Habib. That's lit, let it's a list of legends, man, and you're you're gonna be yeah. putting yourself out there mm-hmm. representing AKA. Mm-hmm. Have you talked to uh Cormier? Have you talked to the other other Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I've been to uh, talk with uh, Cormier some, some sometimes uh, in the e Give the lesson of the wrestling which is very it's amazing amazing coach of wrestling is uh, the best you know the best they have a good detail they teach very well you know and push the guys very hard and motivate you know he's um he's like a, a father for these guys a, a wrestling father you know it's it's good to have people like like him you know for many young fighters who want to want to be a champion want to be successful in life and everything it's good, very well. Mm-hmm. How long have you been there for? Uh, two months. Now I'm months. I'm here for two months. Yes, okay. I'm here two months. <laughs> from, so um, from, from, I come from November now. Yeah, from two two months already. Of course, mm-hmm. of course, man, and mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure you have leveled up a lot in those two mm-hmm. months. Yeah, yeah, improve, improve a lot, improve a lot. You know, it's it. it, it here, you, you, how you need to improve, or you will go home, or you because there's many beasts here training every day. You know, everybody want to is a healthy, healthy competition. You know, healthy competition. Everybody try to kick his ass <laughs> with everybody, and um, yeah, work hard every day, and stay in better, a better place all the time. Yeah, it's been one year. Almost one year exactly since you last mm. competed. Mm. It was at Ryzen yeah. New Year's Eve, and and the event just happened, right? Ryzen twenty six, Kyoji Horiguchi goes in there, finishes Kaya Sakura in the first round, takes the belt from mm. him. You face both guys. You know them. You know the intensity of New Year's Eve shows. Did you expect that to happen? Did you expect Horiguchi to go in there and, and beat him pretty easily? Actually, no. Actually, don't don't expect uh, expect like that. And they make a, he surprised everybody with a, a smart game, you know, smart game, and um, mm, kick very very well the legs of the Sakura, you know. Is one time that I know I know that uh, Asakura put his leg very um, show his leg um, a lot, you know, put much pressure in his front leg. And uh, Origuchi surprised me because I, I saw this before. I saw this before, you know. And uh, Origuchi make a, a smart, smart game. I don't expect I don't expect that he's he going to win, you know. Really don't expect that he's going to win. But, man, he deserves. He, he needs um, 
yeah, we need to take the cap and say like, yeah, he do the amazing job, amazing job. I think he probably studied some of your, some of your tape against Asakura. I'm thinking. Yeah, that. of course, of course, of course. I uh, I made the smart game, you know, mm. very smart move move around. And if you see Arigo should do the same. Uh, better than first fight the, is against Asakura because he just go forward, you know, go forward. Now you walk back, you know, you walk back, wait, you know, same he more pa patience, you know, patience, and uh, yeah, and patience make uh, make everything. Definitely, definitely. Well, yeah, you know, definitely. good luck to mm -hmm. good luck to both men. You know, what I mean, they're gonna continue yeah, yeah. fighting. Yeah, so yeah, it's gonna yeah. Be good exciting. luck. Good luck. Yeah, and uh, I and I uh, hope that Asakura uh, come back more strong and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And give a, a better fight, a better fight. Mm -hmm. Now, last month, you know, you went to UFC 256 to be the backup for the title fight. You went through mm. the whole process of fight week. Mm. You know, was it all business mm. for you, or did you actually mm. get to have some fun during that time? No, I get, I get the fun. You know, I get uh, I get fun. It's good to be there. You know, to feel the energy, uh, feel. Um, <clears throat> Um, you know, the, in this moment, I was more uh, focused on my diet and uh, feel how I can, uh, if I can, uh, if I can give a uh, 125 and uh, believe me, John, this is the best cut weight of my life, what I did, you know, but the best, best cut weight and uh, it's good. Um I don't feel uh, like uh, style like I've been in sit in 135 before in, in rising. I have a sometimes bad cut weight, you know. It's very difficult for I give 125, and I, I was confident that I will give, but not so easy like that, you know. I don't do like uh, hot bath like the stuff like I did before. No, I just uh, in my diet, in my diet, what I eat, you know, I lose the, the weight very well, feel so strong, you know. I have the best, the good, 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 good fight camping. I, I, I was ready, you know. I was thinking this my is my was my night, you know. If one of these guys fight fight against me in uh, in uh, in in November, bro, believe me, I. I always become a, a new, a new, a new world champion. Believe me, because the performance they 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 shows is now as my level. You know, is now is now as my level. And uh, yeah, and I I was just more uh, focused on my my in my uh, in my performance, my diet, and uh, yeah, now I know I can you know feel good in this new division. It, it, it's a huge advantage for you, I believe, because most guys, when they fight for the first time in the UFC, they have to go through everything. But you kind of got the practice run, you know, like that one one extra run. You don't actually have to fight, but you were ready to fight, but it just didn't happen. Yeah, it just don't happen, believe me. God know everything, but yeah. But in this night, I was like, man, please just give me this fight. Just give me the fight. I know that I, I'm going to... You know, I was hungry, you know, for everything, bro, for everything what I, I passed for the my my last fight, the out cancel all all from from uh, from uh, from July, and I was thinking that in November I will become a champion. You know, I think that is the God plan. You know, all the fights cancel and then. They give me, they bring me a backup of the fight. I was thinking that something, uh, something will happen, you know. <laughs> well, you know, you got to go there and you're around all the fighters. You know, yeah. did you get to see how they looked? Did you get to speak with any of them? Any of the other they flyweights? Looks, they, they, they look small, you know. They look small. Mm -hmm. I'm so big for this division. I'm big, fast, you know, and the smart. You know, um, I was looking for Davidson for look for Brandon. Brandon is uh, just so skinny, you know, so skinny, so skinny. And I'm more tall than the Davidson, more tall, more strong. You know, look more healthy. You know, they look look like my my kids. Believe me, I, I saw this guy. You what? And and they they look for me. They I know the eyes don't lie. 
they think, fuck, this guy is really 125, you know? Because I was so big, you know? And I, okay, okay, I feel more confidence, you know? So, it's just, it's, this is just about the time. Just about time. This is just about time, John. So about time. When you saw the fight, you were cage side, so you saw everything mm. live. Mm. Better, the best seat in the house, and, and then yeah. they went to the draw. There was yeah. no winner. Yeah. Were you disappointed in that? Did you feel like there was no winner? Uh, I was thinking that, uh, really, uh, that for me, Davidson win, won the fight. He won the fight, really, he won the fight. Uh, but I expect this, you know. I, I've been saying many times for, for my guys um, and my my interview in UFC, my first interview in UFC, I told the guy, the Davidson don't have cardio. No, have any card? You, if you see the last, the, the every fight that he, he go through the third round, you know, the third round or more, he he's just running, running, you know. He don't want more. He don't want more. He he he, he, he he's a good fighter. He have he have a power in first round, second round, first and second. Sometimes you know he have the power. If he cannot. Um, uh, knock out nobody in first round on second. He is die already, you know. I saw the last fight he, he, he made with the Pantoja. In the third round, he was so tired, 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 you know. He started running. And Pantoja is a tough guy, but dumb. He, like, go like a crazy. And the Pantoja is just running because he started. He show a lot. Uh, his his uh, condition physical is not, is not good, you know. It's not like me. Every round... I I I'm, I'm I I become more better, you know, more better, more better, more better, more better. You understand? Every rounds, every rounds. I can, for me, I, if I have ten rounds in MMA, I was like, oh, it's, I was amazing, you know. So, I have a good plan for him. I got, I have a good plan for him. I know that uh, we will um, see each, uh, each other in a in a ring, and. Uh, I will make a beautiful, beautiful game. You know. Were you impressed by Moreno? Because he did get hit a lot, and he and he wasn't knocked out by any of the shots. Man, he was tough. Yeah, he's a it's a tough, but you need a. He's a tough, of course. Yes, he's a tough. He deserves, you know, he deserves the. But just be a tough, don't make champions. You know, it's just be a champion. is not enough. You understand? Know you can be just a tough, but it's not enough. You need to be smart. You can see he's don't he stay in the same place all the time against Davidson, stay in the same place, you know. He don't move, you know, he don't listen to his coach. I I hear this coach say, move, move, move. He just he get he get hit when he don't move, you know, when he stay in front of uh, of Davidson, you know. And Davidson just wanna throw the, the, the punch and they don't wanna hit in the right place. This is different between me and all these guys. I hit in the right place. And I, just, I don't hit just for hit. You know what I'm saying? I don't punch just for punch. I punch in the right place, you know? You will feel the damage. The guys, they will feel all the time when I punch. If I will punch, I just will punch 10 times. But these 10 times will be clean. You know what I'm saying? It will be on face, on your nose, on your jaw. You know what I'm saying? And well, you, in your body, you know? I will take the guys of these guys. This is the difference. I choose the rounds and I choose where I want to beat. Figueredo, after the fight, he's saying that he wants to leave no doubt and he wants to have a rematch with Moreno. If you were the champion, would you want to have a rematch with the guy that mo most people said that you beat? Mm. If you feel, if you mm -hmm. feel, you know, maybe I see the, um, uh, the wrong fight, but you feel. Mm -hmm. We feel when we get, when we fight if the guy beat us or no, you know. So if he feel, it's because I have something uh, that that is not not right. He feel that uh, mm -hmm. he can beat Moreno, or we feel that he lose. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, maybe there's some doubt in his mind. You think? Yeah, may of course, of course, mm -hmm. of course. He, he uh, uh, Brandon. Uh, expose him, you know. Brand expose him his game, you know. Expose him because uh, last fights I I I saw before I saw before other fighters expose him. Other fighters expose him like uh, Formiga 
and another guy is exposing him. All the fights that he he go through the third round on UFC, the guys expose his game already. But people forgot, you know, people forgot. They just see the um, the last last fight when he become a champion when he beat Davidson and beat uh, uh, Perez, you know, because it was so quickly and and you know fast that people don't see more, you know, you understand me? They just see, oh, this guy. But you cannot see the, the game of somebody in 30 seconds, you understand? Or one minute, you understand? He has fresh, you know? You see you see the fighter when he get hit, you understand? Many fighters are good, just hit. But when they get hit, you understand? Now you see who is the fighter, who is the, the tough, smart, and who is can change the plans? We can change the, in, when he, he get hit. You can see who is the real smart, who is the real fighter, and you just see that they um, just talk for for be good. You understand? Know he say, "Oh, I'm smart," but he's not smart. No, he's mm-hmm. not smart. He's, he's just some. And for me, he's just he's a good fighter, but he just do the things automatic. And then if he get hit, you know what happened? He 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 are tired. He become tired. You understand? And just do the same things. And uh, Brand expose he, him a lot, a lot. Now another guy, you know that a lot of people say save the the flyweight division is uh, Henry yeah. Cejudo. He's always in the news. He says he's retired, but he's always out there making videos and talking about all the fighters. Do you think he'll come back in 2021? And maybe at flyweight, would you like that? Man, I don't I, like. Uh, I'm focused on people that uh, are in the game, you know, who are outside the game. I, I don't have nothing for say. You know, he's an amazing fighter, great fighter. He, he saved the division. That is true. But I don't have nothing for say about him. You know, okay. he's not hard in the game. My focus is not him. You know what I'm My focus is the the, the belt. What Davidson have? Mm-hmm. What belongs to me? All right, fair enough. Now you are rescheduled for February sixth, right? Yes. Against Pantoja, yes. and right. uh, were you were you looking for another opponent because the first fight got canceled, or were you just like, okay, just give me Pantoja again? I don't really care. No, I, uh, when I come for UFC, I told the I come a world champion in the biggest. Uh, promotion. So, for me, it makes sense champion versus champion. You know, for me, this is what makes sense. But if no, I don't will fight to somebody. Uh, if no are in uh, on uh, five on five of Rankin, you know, I should fight with uh, against somebody of um, of this group. You know, saying first, second, third, or till five. This is this is my. Uh, um, what I feel, you know, what I say, look, I will fight. I don't, I never say no for any fight, but I just fight with top five, top five to top, top one. And they, they give me, they know, they know that I'm good enough to stay there. Yeah. Oh, of course, you know, we talked like mm-hmm. almost a year ago about this. When you first got mm-hmm. signed to the UFC, you're like, yeah, mm-hmm. um, either it's a title shot or it's a top five guy. They're giving yeah. you a top five guy in Pantoja. So how do you feel mm-hmm. about the matchup versus Pantoja? Yeah, uh, Pantoja is the most tough on this division. Pantoja is the most tough. You understand? Pantoja is the most tough. But I can, but I can make you feel easy. I can make you feel easy. I have, I have this gift on me. You know, I have um, take the, the hard fights where people think that it will be hard and make make look easy. And so I have I have this talent I have this talent so I'm looking for 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 picking apart and show my game in UFC and everybody don't wanna I don't wanna finish I don't wanna finish early I wanna finish on second round to fight when I show my skills my game and pick him apart beating his body you know making him look tired you know I know that he will come for for take down but you don't have the wrestling enough you know. For take me now for make his jiu jitsu game. If he will come, I will submit him too. But 
I want to make uh, you feel tired, you know, make you feel uh, easy. You know, saying like, we'll be a good match. We'll be a good match. You've been in training camp for a long time now. A long time. Right? So how do you keep yeah, yourself yeah. from overtraining? Yeah, I have a lot of overtraining. It's my um, four or five uh, fight camp, you know. True, I never stop. Don't don't get uh, I get the rice just this time one week. But before I don't get any rice, don't drink nothing. Keep eat healthy. Keep my motivation. I I have a, a strong a strong mentality. You know, I have strong mentality. I know where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm 100. I don't will uh, disappoint me and the people that believe on me. And uh, never let my 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 mental destroy because this is what I have most strong. What I have the most strong is my my mental. So I'm just keeping push hard. I'm thinking like uh, uh, this happened for some reason, and uh, I just will keep 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 pushing. You know, uh, stay better better every day. You know, send every camp and feel like for I improve. I improve. You know, I'm stay ready. But then happened, no fight cancel. But in another camp, I feel like, oh, I improve on, on this area of fight. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, I improve on jiu jitsu. I improve more on 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 uh, on striking. I improve more in my wrestling. Now I improve a lot in my wrestling. You know, I did a, a good wrestling, um, like uh, with amazing wrestler guys. So now I'm improving everybody. I'm I'm becoming more complete in the. The the um the day the days go, and I become more more uh, more dangerous. You know, I become more dangerous every day, every day. You understand? So, uh, it's good for me. You understand? It's good for me because I become more mature. You understand? Uh, I'm not in my one hundred percent potential because I know that I can uh, go through this. This kind of the um, the um, <clears throat> the power, what I expect, you know, that I already not are, but I know that I will be in this power, you know, like uh, um, untouchable. Well, you know, most fighters, if they went through what you went through, they would be frustrated. But it seems like you, mm -hmm. you're, you know, you, like you said, your mindset is the the most mm -hmm. powerful thing for you and. And that has kept mm. you positive and and you keep elevating and becoming better and better and better. And then maybe yeah. we might see the wrestler, Manel, out there, the wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Now you mm -hmm. can expect everything from me. Mm -hmm. Everything. I'm unpredictable. You know? mm -hmm. I'm unpredictable. Yeah. Well, you always been unpredictable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm very excited. You know what I mean? It's like, a lot of people they know who you are, but then there's mm -hmm. a lot of people that don't know who you are. But yes. people are interested because they seen yes. that you were the backup for the title fight. Yeah. Now they're like, okay, they're gonna keep their eyes on you to see what you mm -hmm. do against Pantoja. I think it's gonna be an incredible yeah. fight. You go out there, you take out Pantoja. Is that that's a title shot, right? It's like that's, that's what you expect. Shot. That's what I expect because Pantoja fights against everybody, you know, of this division. The still the, the fight, still the champion. Till the the number six or number five, he'll fight every everybody, and he make the 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 very hard fight against the, the champion. You understand? He make fight very very hard against everybody. And now think if I make easy fight against him, you understand? So they should give me the title shot, you know. Or do you know? Will this fight be in Vegas? Yes, we'll be in Vegas. We'll okay. be in Vegas. Yeah. Yes. That's good to that's good to hear. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you don't yeah. wanna. You want to fight in Vegas. That's the the fight capital yes. of the world, right? Yes, yes. This is where I want to be. Because I remember you telling me about Mayweather and these types of guys yes, out yes, there that yes, influence you, yes. and, and you want to be part yes. of that. Of course. When I've been the first time in, in Vegas, I saw MGM. I saw everything what I'm saw in YouTube when I was a kid. Like, I, my man, uh, if you think that my, my mental is not so strong, then now my mental will become more strong. You understand? Then my mental become more strong, you know, because I live, I live what I'm dream. You understand? And what I saw before, what I and I, and I live 
what I'm thinking that where I stay, you know what I'm saying? All the time I say I will be there one day. One day I'll be in America. One day I'll be do this. One day I'll be in MGM in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Have this kind of life. And, um, yeah, I become so happy. Just when I've been uh, in, in car, they bring me there. Well, bro, believe me, this like is unreal. I feel like, fuck, like deja vu, you know? Like deja vu, like, oh, my God, I saw this in YouTube. Now I'm here, you know? So, fuck, I don't will, I don't will um, do shit. I don't will uh, stop training, you know? I'm a rat of the, the gym, you know? I stay all the time on gym training. So now I'm here, I, I don't will like stop with many guys like, okay, I'm in top, now relax because no, I'm in top and I need to take over the top, you know, I need to stay in the top and take over everybody from there, you know. So this is what I'm thinking every day and uh, go sleep, just think about be on top, beat everybody, you know, and no rest. Just hunt. It's only the start too. So, you know what yeah. I mean? There's there's so much so much to accomplish in your career mm -hmm. moving forward. Mm -hmm. February sixth, it starts yeah. UFC fight night, Las Vegas. Manel, yes. always appreciate the time, man, and uh Thank it's always so great much. catching up with you and, and much respect mm -hmm. to you and all the you know, all the best Thanks for you so in much, your man. career. Thanks so much. Every time when you want to interview, bro, you know. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Take a move. In the ring, you can hit me with the words you feel.